This video is about frontalin. What's frontalin? A chemical message of must in Asian elephants. During must, the temporal gland secretions, as well as the urine and breath, must be delightful, of adult male Asian elephants discharge a variety of malodorous compounds together with a bicyclic ketal frontalin. What's a ketal? A ketal is just another name of, for an acetal, but an acetal which comes from a ketone as opposed to an aldehyde. So let's look at the structure. Go to Oscar. Down here in the compound name box, type in frontalin and submit the name. Here's the structure. This is our acetal. It's bicyclic. It's got two oxygens in it, like all, ox like all acetals. But these two oxygens would have come from a diol reacting with a ketone. The two oxygens belong to the original diol. The ketone oxygen is missing. It would have been lost in the cyclization. So let's undo the cyclization and open this thing up to see the di diol and the ketone. So how do we do that? Well, we can do it by drawing out a mechanism. So let me move the molecule up into, up into the upper left-hand corner so we can start. Now, what do we need? We need a proton and we need some water. So here's a proton and we'll add some water. We don't need the water in the first step, but we'll need it in the second. So what are we going to do first? We're going to protonate one of those two oxygens and it's going to open the ring. Which ring do you want to open first? Well, one ring is, has six members. The, uh, other, the other one is seven. So we want to open the uh, seven-membered ring first because it's probably less stable. So we'll protonate this oxygen up here first. So we protonated that oxygen. So here's our, here's our protonated frontalin. Now this is what this is going to do is open up the half of the acetal and uh, expose one of the original alcohol molecules. So this is the bond we want to break, but it's not going to break on its own. It needs to be pushed out by electrons from this oxygen over here. So from this oxygen, we're going to uh, form a double bond there, and that formation of that double bond is going to kick out our first alcohol group. So here we go. We now have our dangling alcohol group. Now this will uh, 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 molecule we can now react over our water molecule. So let me get an arrow down here. And we need the water molecule. This water molecule is going to come in and attack the carbon of this oxonium ion. That's what we call the protonated, or the positive charge on the oxygen. We call it an oxonium ion. I missed there. So let me try again. There we, we protonate that carbon. We now move that double bond out onto the oxygen, get rid of the positive charge. And uh, of course, now the oxygen of the, of the water will have the positive charge. So, so here's our new compound. Now let me just move this around a little bit to make it a little bit neater. Move this methyl out here. And I want to just move it over to get a little bit more room. So what do we have to do next? Well, what we have to do now is actually transfer the proton from uh, the water that we brought in to this oxygen, which is the uh, oxygen of the second uh, alcohol that we want to uh, kick out. So. I'm just going to uh, draw an arrow from this oxygen over to there, stealing that proton. And of course, I need a little arrow back to the oxygen. You could do this by bringing in a new proton and kicking out that proton, but this is just a kind of a shortcut. So uh, now we've done it. We're ready. We're ready to uh, kick out our uh, final alcohol. Again, I just want to make a little bit more room here. And I'll move this methyl group over here just so it gets out of the way. Now, what we're going to do is the same trick as we did before. We need to use a, a, an oxygen lone pair to form an oxonium ion when they kick out the alcohol. So in this case, we're going to use this oxygen's lone pair, form a double bond there, and then this will kick out that alcohol. And uh, go to our product. What you see here now, we have our diol. There's the ketone, except it still has a proton on it, so we do have to get rid of that part. One last little step, one last little arrow. 
getting rid of that proton. Press the magic button one last time. And there's our final uh, product. Looks a little weird. Let me just do a redraw. That's a little bit better. Here's our here's our um, here's our diol. Here's our ketone. And so this is the molecule which will folds up to form frontalin by forming a cyclic ketone. Now. If you look at this, the total number of steps is one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a pretty long uh, mechanism. Uh, we could also draw a mechanism for folding the open form back up into the cyclic form. And basically to do that, essentially just you just do everything backwards. Uh, and uh, it, it will it would work out. You would you you would start by protonating the carbonyl going up here and then just essentially follow all the arrows uh, in a backwards direction. So this is frontalin, and if you are a elephant, this compound should make you very excited. Thank you.